Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Justin here, Fast Entrepreneur. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And today, here's the question. Is blockchain, is cryptocurrency the next internet? Let's find out. Here we go. So, beautiful day out. As you can see, the flag is flying and we've got some wind. Wind in the sails. So here's the question that I wanna to talk to you about today and just my thoughts. So we all know that the internet now is, has taken over basically most parts of our daily lives, our business lives. Um, it, it's, it's, it's here and this is 2021. But you know, rewind 25 years ago, um, there were people that believed in the power of the internet uh, probably very similarly, like that people believe in the cryptocurrency and blockchain space. Uh, but back then the internet hadn't quite made it. Nobody really knew, you know, what a website was or www or, you know, the at symbol and, you know, sending emails or whatnot. Um, and it took time to mature and it was very speculative and, you know, it had its booms and then it had its crashes. Um, but eventually there were survivors and those survivors made it through. They had products that uh, provided real value uh, to humanity and to our lives. And the technology of the internet, right, of, of bringing together uh, computers and being able to, you know, to communicate, um, you know, machine to machine just took off in a whole new way. And here we are today. And, you know, if, if you could go back in time, you know, would you have been able to predict uh, you know, who the next Google or Facebook, you know, who they were going to be because there were a, a lot of losers. Um, but the technology uh, seemed to have promise and it took time uh, to mature. And so the question is, is blockchain the next big thing? Is this, is this the next internet? Is this bigger than the internet? Well, what is it? So if you're not familiar, um, these cryptocurrencies, and you've probably heard, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, you name it, they run on a technology called the blockchain. And the blockchain is what people that really focus on the technology, they get excited about because they see the potential of what this, this thing may do and can do maybe long before others um, even have, have a clue or an understanding. And, you know, we're still early. I mean, Bitcoin was around in, you know, 20, 2009. So we're about 10 years into it. But, um, you know, it's still pretty early. And nobody really knows who the winners uh, and the losers are gonna be around uh, this time around. But in some ways, you know, we're not, we're not all that early. I mean, you know, Bitcoin was the first. And then, you know, Ethereum came around uh, you know, kind of got started, you know, a bunch of years later. And, you know, since the last bull run, we've had some other projects that have kind of, you know, starting to make a name, but it's, this is, there are some players that are emerging, but there's still a lot of things that just don't work uh, quite the way that, you know, that, that, that maybe we want them to. And if you remember like in the internet, I mean, early on, you know, we just didn't have, you know, like it was slow, it was dial up. Right, I mean, it was very slow. It was, wasn't always, you know, you sit at your computer, you, you wait like two minutes for a website to load. Um, you know, and in many ways, uh, the blockchain uh, experience today, some of the blockchains, I mean, this is what we experience. You know, we experience, you know, high transaction costs. We experience low, uh, you know, just very, very slow speeds, if you will. And, um, you know, I, I suspect over time, these things will improve. Um, you know, we, 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 we have you know, different blockchains right now and some can't talk to other blockchains. And, you know, so over time, you know, these things, these problems, they, when they get solved, uh, you know, we can see something truly amazing. Uh, but when's it gonna happen and will it happen? So what is the blockchain? And the blockchain is simply a technology that is transparent uh, and be un believably uh, cannot be changed or hacked um, and allows for um, truth and, and, and trust 
to be put into trustless systems. It allows for decentralization uh, in, 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 in many uh, aspects, meaning that it's not owned by sing single companies or, or, you know, any one individual. Um, it's, it's owned by a network, a, a bunch of just computers uh, running these nodes. And so, but is this really the case or is this just the dream? And you know what? What's interesting is, I mean, listen, I could argue for the ideal, but in some ways, you know, maybe this is the ideal, but maybe this is not where we end up. Uh, take, for example, the internet. I mean, when the internet was, you know, first getting started is a lot different than, you know, what the internet is today. And, you know, one could say that, you know, even with blockchain, at least the blockchain as we know it today, you know, there are theoretical risks, maybe 51% attacks, uh, meaning, you know, if, if just over majority, um, you know, can either uh, of these miners, these, these validators um, can, you know, own control of the network, uh, they can decide the fate. Um, and, you know, maybe it could be a, a centralized feeling. I mean, we already have some of the most successful projects you know, some are decentralized, but some are centralized. Um, you know, take Binance Coin; it's uh, it's in the top three now. You know, in their ecosystem and their exchange, I mean, they can yield a lot of power. Um, you know, and yeah, maybe right now, you know, Bitcoin is held by a bunch of different people and a bunch of different miners, but these miners can get together and join these pools. Um, and, you know, you can start to see how coalitions and things could change the game as we move forward. Now, I'm not saying that that necessarily changes the potential uh, and the power of the technology, but it might change the landscape uh, and the vision of what some of these people that started out for a truly decentralized world. I think that just is going to depend on what people want to use. Um, you know, if, if, if enough people truly want to use a decentralized um you know, platform, then I guess, and you can keep it that way, then, you know, more power to you. Uh, but time will tell. And now it's very volatile, right? I mean, so far we've been going through these cycles and it's been all around Bitcoin and about every four years, Bitcoin goes through a halving event, which means the amount of new Bitcoin being minted basically is cut in half. So it's supply and demand. And we go through these, you know, these ups and these downs and the rest of the, the market follows. Now it's very volatile. And I think, you know, some would say, and I would say too, that probably over time, uh, the market becomes less and less volatile as we move forward. Um, because it seems like as there's more mainstream adoption, uh, and there's more, you know, practical uses uh, for many of these things. These take, um, you know, take the internet. I mean, today, yes, even tech stocks, you know, they can be volatile, but you know, you're, they're not probably as volatile as, uh, as they once were. Maybe that's because we're 20 years later and it's matured as an industry. Maybe it's because we're looking at, you know, at, at, at big blue chip companies that have already made it. I mean, these are the winners. Um, and this isn't some, you know, nascent, you know, young industry anymore, uh, in terms of tech, but how long will it take blockchain to get there? I mean, we just don't know. Um, but it is pretty exciting uh, to see just in a short period of time. And, you know, we're in 2021. It looks like we're, uh, you know, in the midst of, a, of another bull run. The last one was in 2017. Um, and we went up and we crashed and we kind of, you know, hung around the bear market for a few years. So, you know, navigating a bull market as, you know, if you're an investor, you know, that's a different story. But if you believe in the technology, um, then you probably believe that this isn't going away uh, anytime soon. And so the question is, you know, what, what do you see? I mean, are you looking for this year or are you looking for five or 10 years? Uh, and you know, there's just a lot of possibilities, but anyways, you know, so the question is, is, you know, is blockchain the next internet? Um, you know, that's up to you to decide how big you think this, uh, technology can be. But, you know, if you let your imagination, be your guide and you do a little bit of research to see where we're already at and to see what we can improve upon and what's already happened to this point. Um, you know, I guess you'll, you'll come up with your, with your own answer until next time. See you later.